Welcome back to the second chapter of the story about the link between Denmark, Mission Africa and Kenmare, North Dakota and not to forget Adamawa State, LCCN in Nigeria. This time I'll, I'll introduce to you a new person. Yes, this is your own Jens Dixon. But he's also Danish and he was born in 1858 in the small village of Østerlinet in the very southern part of Denmark. When he was eight years old, Denmark was at war with Prussia, today's Germany. And in 1864, Denmark suffered a great loss. Many soldiers died and we lost actually one third of the Danish land. So little Jens Dixon was sad, as was the most of the Danish population. And he dreamt about going abroad, seeing something bigger. And at the age of 20-something, he went to Copenhagen and from there with ship to the States. In Stixen first settled in Boulder, Iowa, but later moved to North Dakota and Kenmare, where he constructed the Trinity Lutheran Church, which you celebrate this year. Congratulations. But Jens Dixon wanted more. He wanted to educate the local youth. So after a couple of years where he taught in his own shed, the small shed which is now at the exhibition at the Danish Museum in Elkhorn, he, together with the local community and the local uh, minister, erected a church, uh, sorry, erected a high school, a Danish full-born high school, a Borson high school, and named after the Danish bishop and author of many hymns, Hans Adolf Brosson. By this time, Morgens Uhrenholt had lost both his first wife and two children. And after a short trip back home to Denmark, he went back to the States not to Racine, Wisconsin, where he first settled, but this time to Kenmare, North Dakota, where he has heard that Jens Dixon and other Danes were founding a Danish community. But they actually went further west to Westby, now in Montana. I'm holding some of Morgan Zorenholt's old letters dating from 1906 to 1919 when he died. In one of them, he is writing about the years at the prairie in North Dakota and he's writing that he's living of pancakes made only out of flour and and uh, water from melted snow. It must have been hard, very hard, but he also had great joys. In 1906 he entered the Borson High School in Stixens Borson High School and here he had a teacher, Eline Arelsen. You have seen part two out of six on the link between the Danish Sudan mission, LCCN and Kenmare, North Dakota.